Making headlines this morning, reports of an intruder at the Queen's Army Barracks near Windsor Castle. Royal editor Russell Myers is live for us. Oh, very embarrassing. Russell, tell us what happened. Well, good morning, Irene. Yeah, well, not only embarrassing, but hugely, hugely concerning. Now, there is a major investigation underway uh, throughout the royal palaces at the moment, and indeed the armed forces, because an intruder had managed to trick his way in to see the, uh, the, the royal guardsmen at the barracks just round the corner from the Queen's residence in Windsor Castle. Now, this man was dressed as a priest. He said that he was friends with the chaplain of the barracks, and he was able to gain access not only to the grounds of the barracks, but then spend hours hours drinking and eating with some of the royal guardsmen and then unbelievably they even offered him a place to stay for the night. Now the alarm was just raised in the morning as he was finishing breakfast with the soldiers. Now this is an absolutely huge, huge security risk because not only was there, you know, the, the Queen has now moved to Windsor Castle from Buckingham Palace, but this follows hot on the heels of a crossbow wielding intruder breaking into the grounds of Windsor Castle at Christmas Day. So a uh, huge, huge uh, investigation. I think heads are going to roll here. Now, the Queen wasn't there at the time, but she was due back from Sandringham and she arrived back just hours after this had happened. So, so surely there'll be a huge inquiry. Absolutely. I mean, you you hope that this was just, you know, some somebody chancing their arm. But I mean, for goodness sake, it could have been could have been anyone. Could, do you know that? That's the well, thing. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I, I, it just helps. well the issue, the issue is I mean that again as following a hot uh, on this um, investigation which is still ongoing about how a crossbow wielding intruder was able to scale the fence on Christmas Day I think this is another major major security breach and you remember back in 1982 when Michael Fagan managed to gain access to the Queen's private quarters I mean there was huge huge wholesale changes in security at that time and maybe we're seeing another moment in a uh, in, in royal history where something major it needs to happen. Exactly. The Queen will not be amused, that's for sure. OK, let, tell me about William and Kate, though. They're, they're looking to make a, a big move, are they not? They are, yeah. And this is it's sort of been rumbling over for, for, for a few months now that uh, the Cambridges are certainly looking to, to shift out of London. They just want Kensington Palace to be a working palace. Um, and would they now be moving to Berkshire? And, and that is possibly to be closer to the Queen. They certainly like being in Windsor. Kate's family are just down the road in Bucklebury as well. And it seems as though there is a little bit of another royal row emerging, can you believe? Because they are sort of eyeing up one of the, the residents on the Windsor estate called Adelaide Cottage. Now, apparently, uh, Prince Andrew, no less, has been having his eye on this for one of his daughters, possibly uh, Princess Beatrice, for quite some time. So the Cambridges may have to come up against Uncle Andy uh, once again to see who gets this residence. However, uh, I understand that courtiers are absolutely flabbergasted that Andrew would put himself uh, in that position. But, you know, um, his, his arrogance knows no bounds, does it? So I'm sure we haven't heard the last of this. Indeed. My money's on William to win that one. I don't think that's <laughs> going to happen. You've just got to laugh, though, Russell, don't you? When you say a cottage, I always think of something that Snow White was in. You know, like a wee tiny, oh, tiny yeah. cottage. They're mansions. They're huge. Oh, it's I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's got seven gated entrances. It's certainly not a little quaint two-bedroom <laughs> cottage, but they are looking at certainly uh, trying to make the move to Windsor. And this uh, this beautiful cottage, as it's called, <laughs> has got sort of uh, art Gre uh, Greco Roman fireplaces, lots and lots of bedrooms, and uh, you know, lots of lots of uh, nice schools for the kids to go to. However, they will be close to the Queen, so yeah. I imagine that's a, a good deal for all involved. Absolutely. Thank you, Russell. Thank you very much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.